Hey, Nick McDonald here, and I want to talk to you about pricing today. Pricing is a really, really, truly important part of your business. It's fundamental to your business and to your profitability. But I want to challenge your thinking here around who sets the price? Who sets your pricing? Now, uh, we work with HVAC uh, companies a lot. We talk to people within that industry a lot. And there's a, you know, there's a, the billable hour. What's my billable hour? How do I charge it out? How do I communicate that to our, my customer, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. And there's a, there's a, a lot of uh, concern and worry and, and chatter about pricing. What am I worth? So I just wanted to talk to you about a very interesting conversation I had with somebody the other day about who sets the price, right? So this is a market. Okay, so this would be a market. These are business owners down here. So this would be you and your competitors. And this is your hourly rate, your billable hour. So it starts at 75, goes up right up to 330, right? Yes, that's right, I said 330. But who sets that, who decides? So let's just have a look, right? So this guy here thinks he sets his price at $75. This guy here thinks he's maybe 120. This guy here thinks he may be 180, right? And this guy here probably started off a bit low and he put his price up, put his price up, and one guy in the first four weeks of working with us put his price up four times, right? So this, this guy here, he came to start working with us. He was on 230 straight away is what his, he was on. Uh, uh, somebody else was on, uh, what were they on? They were, I think they were on 90, right? This guy on 90 put his price up to 180 for $100 straight away on his price because he worked out, he saw what was going on, right? Now, this is what I want you to understand. These people here, which is you, you are putting a ceiling, and that is a little ceiling, on, on your pricing. Based on what? Right? Based on your belief. It's based on what you believe is right for your market and for your customers. But what you haven't done is this: all these people over here, these are your market, these are your customers in your market, in your town, in your city. You haven't asked them, right? You haven't tested the market. The market will, I mean, iPhones are $1,000, right? So there could be more than that, there could be less than that, but the market basically says, iPhones will pay, the market will pay $1,000 for iPhone. Think about, you know, a, a Lamborghini, right? It does not cost, you know, the, the money that a Lamborghini costs to produce the Lamborghini, but the market will pay the price tag on the Lamborghini, right? So what does the market suggest? And what the market suggests is you can charge up. These people will be happy to, to pay up to $330 an hour. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Don't argue with me because they will, right? We had a, a guy that started working with us, uh, and his name is Randy. And when he started with us, right, this is little Randy here. Let's do this at the end. He's in Colorado Springs, and his billable hour was $85 an hour. That's where he was, $85 an hour. Within a very short time, and he, he put his billable hour up to 330 he was serving the same customers, but he'd increased his price by an absolute shit ton, a shit ton. Okay, We'd, he'd done. A, it added a lot to his service, and he added a, a load of value to that, right? So, but he essentially he was serving the same people, and he didn't move to a different city. He was still in Colorado Springs, right? And he was thinking differently about his business. He was bringing more value to the business. Uh, to, to, to his customers and the, and the market not him he thought when he came to us he thought he was worth $85 an hour he's now charging $331 at the last time we spoke to him which was a little while ago $331 and his business has jumped from three hundred grand a year he's, he's on course for $5 million within the next 18 months probably right so he jumped by he jumped from 300000 to a million in, in 10 months of working with us. And one of the things is, he looked at this, right? So many people we talk to have this little belief 
on the on the head that I'm only worth my company. You know, my my customers are different. My customers will only pay. How you wrap that up? If you say to somebody, "Oh yeah, I charge three hundred thirty dollars a billable hour. That's what I charge." They'll tell you to get stuffed. So how you wrap your message up? How you wrap your offer up? And how you take that to market and communicate that uh, with with your customers will make all the difference. You need to really, really think about it. So my challenge here is, who's setting? Right, this is the same market, right? Who is setting the price per hour that you're charging? Is it you? Have you got this belief that I can't charge more than $100 an hour, I can't charge more than $65 an hour, because potentially that's what you've been paid in the home warranty market, right? Have you been stuck in the home warranty trap? So do you have a little blue line <laughs> do you have a little blue line above your head like that that says I'm only going to worth this I'm only going to be worth this and could you test your prices with your market okay because you are a small business owner your pricing is agile and you can test it you can charge me one thing and you can charge the next customer something else right we don't know each other the guy over the street at the other side of town so you know you how much time do you spend testing out your price? Because your pricing, your pricing is your business. It is your profitability. It's what ends up in the in the bank account, right? At the end of the day, is how much money you've made or not made for doing the same thing, but wrapping it up differently. So I hope this helps you challenge your thinking around, well, if I'm, if I'm you know, this is what I want you to, to get. One of our customers came in at $85 an hour. And raised his value to 330 and didn't isn't working harder he wasn't working flat out you know he, he's now not touching the tools at all he's thought differently about the value that he's added because in here this is all value right value so you need to really understand about how you can add that value in so he's working less hours for a shit ton more money and he thought he was on the same as this guy, but this guy here, who's charging $75 an hour, believes that that's all he's worth, believes that that's all he can get. Right, so have a look at this. Look at that, $75 an hour, $330 an hour, right? Or $75 an hour, $230 an hour. It's a huge difference. It's a huge, huge difference. Uh, and my challenge to you is you're deciding what you think you're worth not your customers as always if you want help with this if you're stuck down this bottom end right if you're if your billable hour is only two digits and not three digits or if it only start if it starts with a one and you're looking to think how you can get that up and you want some help exploring and understanding how you can do that then reach out to us because this is the kind of thing that we can really help you with so keep smiling no slacking and i'll talk to you very soon